here on the surface of the small intestine are called villi. Villi, okay? Then you have these uh, areas we, that will deepen into the tissue, into the wall. These are called intestinal crypts. Now, the intestinal crypts lead into these structures here called glands. Okay? These crypts are also known as the crypts of Lieberkuhn. However, it's easy to remember as intestinal crypts. Now, here's showing you a magnification of this area of the intestinal crypt. What you have mainly are these type of cells within the intestinal crypt. They're called absorptive cells. Then you have here goblet cells that secrete mucus. And then you have these enteroendocrine cells that secrete different chemicals and substances for digestion. Enteroendocrine cells. Okay? <clears throat> now, let's look at the layers of the small intestine or for the digestive tract uh, in general. Okay, the first layer here, all of this layer here, up to, up to here, all of this, is the mucosa. And you see the mucosa consists of three layers. First, the epithelium. Epithelium. Okay, it's a single layer of cells. Then you have here the lamina propria, which is this light pink colored area. Lamina propria. You will find blood vessels running through the lamina propria. Sometimes you'll find some small glands there and so forth. This is lamina propria. And then the last part of the mucosa is this thin layer of smooth muscle called the muscularis mucosa. It's smooth muscle, but it's thin. Okay? That's our mucosa, all of this. This is part, the villi are also forming part of the mucosa as well. The next layer is the submucosa. It's this pink colored area here with striations like this. Okay? It consists mainly of connective tissue, but you will have also a rich supply of blood vessels. See, blood vessels. And an important thing here called the submucosal nerve plexus. This is one of the plexuses of the enteric nervous system. Okay? This is the submucosal nerve plexus, also called the Meisner's plexus. Meisner's plexus. Our next layer is this one right here. This is called the muscularis externa. Muscularis externa. And it consists of two layers generally, a circular muscle and a longitudinal muscle layer. So you, generally you will have these two layers, circular and muscle layer of the muscularis externa. If it were the stomach, this is the small intestine, if it were the stomach, then it would have up to three layers. But in small intestine and in most parts of the digestive tube, you'll have these two layers, circular and longitudinal. Now, you do find something very important in this muscularis externa. You find these little things here. These are representing the other nerve plexus called the myenteric nerve plexus. Myenteric nerve plexus, also called the our back, our back plexus. So that covers that layer. And now, finally, our last layer or outermost layer of the small intestine is all of this here. This is my serosa. serosa. And it consists of a connective tissue and a epithelium, referred to sometimes as mesothelium. Okay? So those are the layers of the small intestine and in general for most of the digestive tract. And those yellow things? Oh, finally, you see all of these yellow things? They represent the lymphatic vessels. Lymphatic vessels. And where the lymphatic vessels introduce themselves into the villi, right here, they push themselves, they introduce into the villi, we call them lacteals. Lacteals. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.